Unahin muna natin yung equipment for general use. Okay, so that is PEC Chapter 4. PEC Part 1, Chapter 4. Okay, so yung minimum size po ng wire gagamitin for fi fixture wires. No, ibig sabihin yung mga wire for connection ng ating mga fire alarm system, mga sa lighting. No? So ang minimum po dyan is 0 0.75 square mm o yung kanyang di diameter is 1.2 um, mm. No? Okay. Tapos yung marking, so dapat yung marking natin fixture wires must be uh, the, ins the, ins the insulation must be thermoplastic. And may marking siya ng kanyang klase na ano, wire. Uh, it, at intervals not exceeding. Not exceeding uh, 600 mm. All other fixtures shall be marked by means of printed tag attached to the coil or the rail. So pwede din may tag doon sa ating coil. No? Sa so, coil ng wire or doon sa ating rail. Okay. For switches naman, no, yung grip ng ating switches shall not be more than uh, 1,180 1, or pwede natin yung i-round up into 200 mm above the floor or the working platform. No? So, finish natin. So, that siya lalagpas ng 2 meters. So, the mounting, no, if uh, snap switches tayo, so the surface type ng snap switches ay nakadikit sa ating, ano, sa ating surface lang ng ating wall. So, the shall be mounted on insulating materials that separate the conductors or at at least no 13 mm so yung yung ating ano yung ating yung ating um conductor is meron siyang gap na 13 mm from the surface so hindi pwedeng magdikit yung conductor nating determinate lalo na if that conductor is bare doon sa ating surface then box mounted flush type uh, switches no shall be mounted in boxes installed so that extension plaster ears are seated against the surface you know yung ating plate so yan yung ating ears no plaster ears is nandoon siya sa surface hindi nakalibing yung mismong plate no ng ating ano box mounted or flush type na ano na snap switches So the for isolate isolating switches, no, the maximum rating is 1,200 if that is rated at 250 volts or less. So pwede tayong gamitin yung mga isolating switches. So uh, that is uh, also applicable to breakers. So sa breakers nagag 1,200 amperes lang pwede tayong gamitin if our system voltage is 250 volts or less. Kapag lumagpas ng 251 to 600, so we only use 600 amperes. So, to interrupt current, so 1,200 amperes at 250 volts, ganun pa rin, no? the interrupting capacity, if that is 250 volts or less, 600 amperes, if taas, uh, mas mataas na siya sa 250 volts, hanggang 600. Okay, so the rating of the snap switches, so dapat nakalagay ito sa ating, no, sa ating mga specification for our snap switches. So, if that is for AC current use, so... It should be ano, rated for resistive and inductive loads including electric discharge lamp. Pwede na siya dapat sa tungsten filament loads, so not exceeding 115 volts. For motor loads, so dapat ang kinikirin niya is 80% no, of the ampere rating. For both AC and DC usage, so pwede siya sa DC as a resistive load. Pwede na siya sa inductive loads and not to exceed 50 amperes of the ampere rating. Kano pa rin sa tungsten filament, not to exceed 115 volts ang kanyang nominal voltage. For copper aluminum snap switches, so rated 20 amperes or less directly connected to aluminum contact, uh, conductor. So the rating must be 20 pababa so that it could be connected to our aluminum conductor. So dimmer switch should be only used no, to control permanently installed incandescent luminaires. So di pa pwede yung ating dimmer switch ay mag-control ng mga temporary lighting. Only the um, the permanently no or the fix na incandescent luminaires okay for the receptacle a cord connectors and attachment plugs so yung ating receptacle and cords shall be rated in this following rating 15 amperes 125 
or 15 amperes to 150 volts and shall be uh, type no not suitable for use as lamp for this so yung ating mga receptacle should not be um designed or should not be installed to be used as a lamp holders but rather as the uh, receptacle for uh, the uh, receptacle para sa ating mga attachment plug for aluminum naman so ganun pa rin yung rating must be 20 amperes or less at tapos may marking siya na copper aluminum na nakalagay sa kanyang uh, mismong device. Okay. So, receptacle mounting. Mounting. Okay. So, para sa ating receptacle mounting, so the mounting yoke or strap is uh, held rigidly at finish surface. The boxes that are flashed to the mounting yoke or strap is held rigidly at the finish surface also. So, if nakaset box or naka-flash, so dapat yung mismong frame ng ating mga receptacle is naka-held siya ng matibay doon sa finish or base. No? Receptacle mounted on covers. No? So, mga covering natin. So, it just be held in uh, by one or more screws or be a device assembly. So, the position of the face, no? the flash and a project. No? So, yung labas, no? yung labas ng ating outlet must be a minimum of 0.38 mm from the metal face plates. No? So, receptacle in countertops. So, yung mga receptacle doon sa ating mga, ano, sa ating mga kitchen, no? So, doon sa ating mga lababos, if we have going to use for, ano, yung mga, tag doon, yung mga mixer or yung mga blender. So, the receptacle shall not be installed in face-up position. So, dapat naka-side lang talaga, no? So, that is, ano, that is not advisable even if we are going to use weatherproof or waterproof outlet. So, the outlet must be, uh, installed in uh, no, a side face position, not in a face up position. Exposed terminals. So, exposed so that the live wiring terminals are not exposed to contact. So, yung mismong termination, yung at ng ating, ano, ng ating outlet or receptacle shall be um, uh, terminated properly para walang makita doon na wire or conductor, no? which may cause accidental contact. Okay. So, yung mga plates, face plate cover natin ng ating mga receptacle. If the face plate is made up of uh, ferrous metal, no, that is, the thickness must be 0.75 mm. If non-ferrous metal, no, very aluminum, no, so that is also 1.0 mm in thickness. Rounding, so all metal plate, face plates, no, all metal boxes, face plates ng ating receptacle, or pwede natin switch kasi mayroon tayong mga metal na face, ano, uh, face plates must be grounded. Then, face plates of insulating material shall be combustible, not less than 0 0.25 mm thick and permitted to be less than 0.25 mm thick if formed or reinforced to provide adequate mechanical strength. So, if nakalagay yung ating face plate in a non-combustible material, uh, the, yung face plate natin is non-combustible, so dapat yung thickness niya is the bababa na 0.25 mm. But, if it is made no na meron siyang ano reinforced support to add na ano talagang dedicated siya sa surface so pwede na magiging less than ng 0.25 mm okay switchboard and panel board so dito tayo sa ating mga panel board and switchboards no so switchboards are usually those types of um housing or enclosure na kung saan doon natin nilagay yung medyo malalaki na bikers well, the panel boards are are usually used in in small installations like the residential and commercial installations. Pero yung medyo malalaki na, so for over 600 amperes up, so we will be using this term switch boards. Or the other term is switch gears. So support and arrangement of bus bars and conductors. So overheating and inductive effects shall be avoided. So the, the arrangement of the bus bars and the conductor shall be made so that the overheating and the inductive effect shall be avoided. So, paano gawin natin yan? So, there is a proper spacing, no? spacing for each of the ano, uh, the life parts of the conductor, tapos pati yung ating bus bar. And, and also, the panel board or the switch gear is so made so that it will have its own ano, its own ventilation. No? Yung medyo uh, hindi siya masikip. No? So, ano lang siya, tamang-tama lang yung size so that in case there is heating, no, kasi talaga naman yung wire natin is nag-iinit yan kahit hindi yan overloaded, 
So still the hate could uh, the heat could dissipate no palabas to sa ating panel board. Shall be installed with a main banding if used as a service equipment. So for example if our panel board or our switchgear is is the main so dapat naka-ground yan siya no or naka-banded doon sa ating transformer. So in case of three phase so the arrangement must be the buses shall be arranged A B C. So this is the phase sequence no. Tawag dito is the positive phase sequence. So ABC or line 1, line 2, and line 3. So yan yung standard for switchboards and panel boards when it comes to the bus bars and the conductor arrangement and support. Okay. So switchboard, sa, sa clearances naman. So the clearance from the ceiling, so the top of the panel board doon sa ating ceiling, the clearance shall not be less than 900 mm. The location of the switchboards, it shall be located, ito yung mga requirements for the location, permanently dry location, and it is only uh, accessible to um, licensed electrical practitioner. So, dapat yung ating panel board or switchboards are put in a dry location. Tapos, it, is, it could be only easily accessible to a licensed electrician or a uh, licensed electrical practitioner. So, we have the panel boards naman, no? the classification of panel boards. So, we have two. So, lighting and appliance, brand circuit, circuit panel board. So, this panel board shall have an overcurrent protection of 30 amperes or less. No? And shall have more than 10% of its overcurrent device protecting lighting and appliance circuit. For example, meron kang panel board na ang kanyang rating is 30 amperes, yung main. No? So, yung mga overcurrent protection niya doon is 30 or less. Tapos, mostly, uh, those ano, breakers, ang kanyang protect lang are the ano, appliance circuit and also the lighting circuit. So, that type of panel board is what we call as a lighting panel board or an, ano, uh, tawag doon is lighting panel or LP. No? Yan yung sa mga medyo... Uh, malalaki na mga plano. So, LP ang tawag doon. If in case the panel board no, is consists no, of lighting pan, of lighting breakers or lighting uh, breaker no, nag, na nag-protect uh, no, for lighting circuit tapos meron din para sa brand circuit tapos meron tayong mga motor loads no, in combination with motor loads or air conditioning load ang tawag doon is power panel board. No? So, third 10% of your overcurrent device protect lighting and appliance brand circuit. So, if kunya, nag-design sa isang bahay, no? if you have 10 ano, circuits, tapos uh, sham dun is protecting aircon, no? so, or yung ECU load, so, those uh, yung, ang tawag sa panel, door, panel board na yun is already a power panel. No? If mas konti, no? or, or is, if mas madami yung lighting panel ang taw or the lighting circuit at or no, brand circuit, uh, appliance brand circuit, ang tawag naman sa panel na yun is lighting panel or lighting panel board. Okay. So, the number of overcurrent device in one panel board. So, ito yung ilan yung maximum na number of power panels. No? For um, single phase or single pole na breaker, so 42 ang pwedeng ilagay sa isang panel board. So, hindi ito applicable for switch gear. No? Yung switch gear kasi kahit ilan niya kasi malalaki yan. But for a simple panel board, so 42. If 2 pole naman, yung breaker natin, 21. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is yung 42, i-divide nyo lang ng 2, that will be 21. For 3 pole breakers, so yung 42, i-divide nyo ng 3, that is equal to 14. So, yan lang yung mga maximum number of overcurrent devices or breakers na po yan ilagay sa panel board. No? So, this is excluding the main. No? Hindi po kasama yung main. Okay. Overcurrent protection. So, for our panel boards and switch gears, so the lighting and appliances brand circuit panel board shall be individually protected. No? Shall be individually protected on the supply side by not more than two main circuit breakers or two sets of uses. So, ang maximum main na po natin ilagay sa isang panel board is only 2. No? So, ang alam, ang pagkakalam natin, the usual is 1. No? Meron tayong tinatawag na uh, isa lang yung main. But, mostly, no? so, ang talagang maximum is 2. Bakit 2? Kasi, there are 
uh, panel boards na yung isa is for the generator, yung isa is para doon sa ating ano, sa ating utility. So yung isa is para sa emergency, yung isa is para sa normal na main. So kaya ang maximum number of circuit breaker na pwedeng i-main sa isang panel board is dalawa. So yun yung maximum hindi na pwedeng gawing tatlo, hindi pwedeng gawing apat. Okay. Then the power panel uh, shall be protected of an overcurrent device which is not greater than the size of the protection of the panel board. No? Okay, so dapat yung ano yung main natin for our power panel board the the size shall not be greater no than the size for the protection of the panel board. So dapat tama lang yung ating sizing. O kaya nga may tatawag tayo nung last natin na ano na discussion yung mga last video discussion natin na load calculations. For stamp switches rated at 3 uh, 30 amperes or less, it shall have an overcurrent protection of 200 amperes or less, no? Then supply to a transformer, so the yung ating mga panel board which is directly supplied to a transformer shall have an over uh, shall have an overcurrent protection on the secondary side of the transformer. So dapat yung secondary side ng transformer yun siyang overcurrent protection. No? Delta breakers shall not be installed in panel board. So those breakers that are um uh, usually no for for delta configuration shall not be installed doon sa ating breaker. Then backfeed devices, no? So if our uh, devices, no, or our our devices or panel board is um backfeed, no, galing doon sa likod yung kanyang ano termination, it shall be secured in place by additional fastener. Then the panel, so the panel must be made of moisture resistant and non-combustible materials. Then the bus bar shall be insulated or by bare bus bar shall be rigidly mounted. In protection of instrument circuits, so instrument circuits like pilot lights, potential transfer, or other switchboard shall be protected at 15 amperes or less. So yung mga instrument circuit, yung kanyang breaker niyan is uh, 15, uh, 15 amperes yung maximum. No? Then we have industrial control panels. So these are for the motor controllers. So an assembly of systematic and standard arrangement of two or more components. No? Pwede siya motor controller, overload relays. Disconnect switches, no push button station. So, lahat ng yun ang tawag na this industrial control panel. Okay. So, the industrial control panel, hindi kasama yung kinokontrol na equipment like yung motor. Hindi kasama yan sa uh, industrial control panel assembly. So, the minimum size of our industrial control panel uh, shall be rated, no yung kanyang wire ampacity shall be rated at 125% of the full load current. No? So, full load current, 125. Kunyari, that is 200 amperes, no? yung kanyang uh, load. No? So, we will multiply that one by 1.25. So, that is uh, 0.25 ng, ano, ng 200 is 50. So, uh, the rating of our wire shall be 250 amperes. Then, luminers, lighting fixtures, lamp holders, and lamps. So, our luminar shall not, uh, shall be uh, located no? in specific locations. So, kung yun, went and dub location. So, it shall be made so that water cannot enter. Tapos, may marking siya na suitable for wet or damp location. For corrosive location, so dapat yung ating lamp holders also shall be uh, made to be suitable on that location. So, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung luminar for corrosive location if that luminar is not uh, rated on that environment. In ducts or holes, so the temperature limits in the area shall not, ex shall not be exceeded. So, material shall be excluded, ex excluded from B-force grease or oil, B-force, and shall be corrosion resistant. Sa bathtub areas naman, no? or sa shower areas, no lighting fixtures, no? na nakasuspend, no, nakahang, dapat nakafix siya sa surface or naka-embedded or uh, flush. No? So, light track pendants or ceiling suspended fans within 900 mm. 
horizontally no from our uh, our tag doon tab no yung ating bat tab rim at 2400 mm vertically no from the top of the bat tab so if if ito na mitong ano to minimum ano na to minimum uh, distance na to so pwede we could have our ano our lamp holder suspended from the ceiling no kapag hindi then automatic our lamp holder must be put no uh, flush or embedded on our ceiling so luminaire fixtures near or over combustible materials for example doon sa to sa ano stock room yung stock room are full of paint no na could ignite no so the luminaire shall be uh, shall not be subject to temperature in excess of 90 degrees Celsius and shall be located at least 240 mm above the floor or so guarded that the lab cannot be damaged because in case yung lamp natin is pwede siyang madamage kunyari merong ano merong nagdala ng ano doon ng uh, tubo na na tamaan yung bulb so it may cause spark tapos yung lugar na yun is high uh, is may mga highly combustible materials it will cause fire so kaya the minimum uh, the minimum height no of our lamp holder on those location is 2400 mm above the floor okay so luminaire fixtures in clothes closets so ito yung mga accepted so surface mounted and resist mounted incandescent luminaire surface mounted or resist mounted fluorescent luminaire kapag fixture types naman no that is not permitted hindi pwede yung incandescent which is open or partially enclosed lamp uh, pendant luminaires no tapos yung mga lamp holders hindi yan siya ano accepted so dapat either it is surface mounted or resist no yung talagang naka ano naka co fully covered siya no for clearances no so for sur surface mounted incandescent luminaire 300 mm no yung kanyang distance from the ano the clothes itself no surface mounted naman uh, for fluorescent luminaire 150 mm same sa resist na incandescent at resist na fluorescent luminaire all 150 mm yung ano lang yung 300 mm is the surface mounted incandescent luminaire so wiring of luminaire so wiring of luminaire shall have the same polarity for the screw shells of the lamp and the circuit terminal. So, dapat tama kung saan yung yung neutral at yung live. No? That is for the wiring of the luminaires. So, the pendant uh, conductors for incandescent filament, no? the size shall be of the following. So, if yung base natin is mogul, no? yung, yan yung kadalasan ginagamit ngayon sa ating mga uh, uh, incandescent lamp. So, the the screw of the lamp holder shall not be smaller than 2.0 square mm or 1.6 mm diameter. So, magagamitin natin na wire is sa ganun din, no? So, um, not uh, less than 2.0 square mm. For intermediate or candelabra-based lamp holder, so not smaller than 0.75 mm square mm or 10 or 1.0 mm diameter. If twisted or cabled, no? So, the cable shall not be uh, longer than 900 mm. Okay. So, brand circuit conductors and ballast. No? So, our brand circuit conductor shall be within 75 mm from the ballast with temperature rating not lower than 90 degrees Celsius. For lighting track, no? so lighting track is yung nakikita natin dun sa ating mga, ano, ating mga display centers. No? So, it is uh, support and energy luminaires that are capable of being re readily positioned on the track. No? Okay. So appliances. So the provisions for appliances in general, it shall not be less than 125% of the mark rating for operated motor operated appliances. So more, for motor operated appliances, yung kanyang opacity ng wire is 125% no? ng kanyang load. Tapos, if uh, shall not be less than 100% of the mark rating rated at continuous loading. For non-operated na mga appliances, so shall not be less than 100% no, ng kanyang full load current. 
to overcurrent protection. So, household type appliances with surface heating elements. So, ang maximum na demand niya siya is more than 6 e amperes. So, it must have 2 or more circuits for power supply with protection rating at not over 50 amperes. For infrared lamp, commercial, industrial heating appliances shall have an overcurrent protection not exceeding 50 amperes also. For single non-operated motor uh, non-motor operated appliances so ang rating ng kanyang overcurrent device at ng kanyang capacity shall not exceed the nameplate rating mark on the appliances also shall not exceed 20 ampere rating if the current is 3.3 amperes or less ito yung mga um, color no color scheme for electric space heating so usually sa atin sa Pilipinas wala tayong electric space heating uh, this is just um, part of the uh, the neck, no? the shell electrical code. So, siguro, if you have uh, an electric space heating for some commercial uh, commercial industrial applications, so nonetheless, ito yung kanyang mga color coding for the wire corresponding to the nominal voltage. So, for 120 volts, yellow ang kulay. For 200 at 208 volts, blue. For 240 volts, red. For 277 volt, that is brown. And for 480 volts, so that will be orange. So, ito yung mga kolay niya. Okay. So, clearance of wiring in ceiling. So, wiring shall not be less than 50 mm above the heated ceiling with an ambient temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. If our um, ceiling is subject to heat, no, or doon, doon uh, dadaan yung ating space heating, so dapat yung wire natin is ang kanyang distance from our uh, ano, space heating or, or our ceiling shall not be less than 50 mm. Tapos, we should make sure that yung distance na yun, ang kanyang ambient temperature shall be below 50 degrees Celsius. Okay. Then you have MCC, no? motor, motor circuits and controllers. So, meron tayong adjustable speed drive. So, this is a combination of power converter motor and motor mounted which is used to adjust the speed no of our um uh, rotating machines no the motor control circuit it is used to control our uh, motors no abang yung system isolate isolation equipment so this is a redundantly monitor remotely operated con contactor isolation system which is used in case there is an you know, an emergency on a certain type of equipment na pwede siyang uh, i-disconnect yung equipment na yun through um, through remote control no na ano na will not hamper also the other operation of those um, of those equipment which are operating normally okay so part winding of transformer if you are using our transformer as a part winding so hindi natin kinuha yung Full voltage niya. So, the, it should be you know, started by energizing first the primary, uh, the armature winding, and so the remainder of the winding in one more steps. So, one half of its primary winding can be energized initially, and the other half follows in one or more steps. So, dapat hindi siya pagsabayin. For hermetic refrigerant compressor, shall not be considered a standard part winding start induction motor. Okay. The ampacity and motor rating determination. So, if our motor is for general application, so they are considered as low speed no, with less than 1,200 RPM. So, ito yung ano niya, kapag high speed, low torque, so lower full, full load current. If low speed naman, mas pataas yung torque, so it is higher full load current. The, tuck, the torque motors, the usual rated current of that one shall be equal to the lock rotor current. So, the lock rotor current is yung current na in case, if you are going to um, apply enough force na hindi talaga makaikot yung ating, ano, yung ating rotor, so that current will be called as the lock rotor current. For torque motors, so yan yung magiging kanyang uh, rating, no? the, the lock rotor current. Okay, marking on motors and multi-motor equipment. So dapat ano yung makikita sa ating nameplate ng ating motors. So, you have the manufacturer's name, the rated volts and the full load current, the frequency and the number of phases if, if it is an AC motor, 
the followed speed, the rated followed speed, so ilang RPM. The ambient temperature rise or the insulation system and the ambient temperature in the time rating. So time rating shall be 5, 15, 30, or 60 minutes or continuous. Okay. Then also, uh, the rated horsepower if 1.8 horsepower or more. So kapag lumagpa siya ng 1.8 horsepower pata, so dapat nakalagay na yung rated horsepower niya. The code uh, late, uh, letter or rock, lock rotor amperes, no? Then the design, design B or C or D. Then the secondary voltage and followed voltage if that is a one rotor induction motor. The field current if our motor is DC excited, so applicable also to synchronous motors. Winding, no? so it is straight shunt or stabilized shunt, compound or series. If that is a fractional DC motor, so 180 mm or less in diameter shall not be required to be marked. Tapos, nakalagay din if what type of protection is, is it thermal, uh, thermally protected or impedance protected. Tapos, kung ano pa yung mga ibang mga ano, equipment which is part of the motor equipment itself or the motor assembly which um, which also uh, helps no it in in its ventilation and its operation. Okay, so the terminals. So the motor terminal shall be marked or colored if necessary. So para malaman kung alin yung line one, line two, or line three. The conductor shall be connected with copper. No, so hindi po ide yung conductor connected in aluminum. So at least otherwise identified so. No. So, torque requirements. So, po, sa paghigpit. So, the screw must be 0 0.80 mm yung torque. If, tapos yung minimum wire must be 2.0 square mm. Okay. So, single motor. So, selection of the brand circuit conductor. In general, so, katulad ng kanina. So, like ng mga, like sa ating mga ECU. No? So, the general, the general is the brand circuit shall not be less than 125 percent of the motor full load current. For multi-speed motor, kung ano yung highest na full load current, no, doon sa ating ano, setting ng multi-speed motor, yun yun ang susundin. Yun ang gagamitin ng full load current. Y delta, delta run motor, so shall be size 58 percent, no, of the motor load current. Kapag part winding naman, so that is 50 percent. So other than continuous duty, so the conductors for a motor use in short time intermittent or or periodic, no, shall not be less than, no, or equal. So, dapat equal siya or hindi bababa sa nameplate current rating ng motor. So, for the terminal enclosure, conductors between a stationary motor rated 1 HP or less shall be permitted to be smaller than 2.0 square mm, but not smaller than 0 0.75 square mm. So, rating for continuous duty motor, so more than 1 horsepower if separate yung kanyang overload device. So, if, that, if the motor is marked at 1.15 or greater service factor, so that's 125%. If the temperature rise is 40 degrees Celsius, so 125%. If wala sa dalawang to, so that is all other motors will be rated at 115%. Okay? For the thermal protector, that is used to protect our... Um, winding no, from overheating. So if the followed current is 9 amperes or less, so 175%. If that is rated at 9.1 to 20 amperes or less, or 9.1 to 20 amperes, 150%, 56%. No? If more than 20 amperes, so that is 140%. Uh, integral with motor should shall be protect, shall protect the motor against uh, damage due to failure to start. So, larger than 1,500 horsepower shall have an overcurrent device having embedded temperature detectors. So, 1 horsepower or less, so, aut automatically started. No? So, dapat naka, ito yung mga horsepower na naka automatic starting. So, if we could have also a separate overload device, tapos thermal protector, in, tapos yung may protection that is integral to motor in case of failure to start, tapos the impedance protected. Okay. So selection of overload delay, this is if the overload delay is 
part of the motor, no? So for service factor, greater than 115, no? 140%. For the temperature rise of 40 degrees Celsius, 140%. All other motors will be at 130%. Then we have automatic restarting, an overload device that can restart a motor automatically after overload tripping shall not be installed unless approved if, if automatic restarting may result in injury to person. So if may ilalagay tayo na OL, tapos yung OL na yun will... Uh, will oh, automatically restart no, our motor, hindi siya pwedeng install because it may cause injury to person, especially if mayroon ng, ano, kung nag-trip yung, uh, yung OL, so may dumating na mga, ano, na maintenance to, uh, to try to fix, no, kung ano nangyari dun sa motor, tapos mag-auto restart yung ating OL, no, overall delay. Okay, so ito yung mga lock rotor indicating cold letters, no, so that is from A to V. No? So have this have this uh, just familiarize this one. Now for example, A, call letter A. So this is kilovolt amperes per horsepower with lock rotor. So 0 to 3.14. No? So kung ilang kilovolt amperes per horsepower. No? So kunari, uh, kung kanyang horsepower is 3. So times mo ng point uh, 3.14, so yan yung kanyang kilovolt amperes, tapos i-divide mo ng ano yung kanyang nominal voltage so that will be now the lock rotor current so ito yung mga rating for our short circuit and ground fault device, so na-discuss na natin to dati sa load calculations for single phase, so usually we are using inverse time circuit breaker 250% no? okay so ito yung mga types of enclosure under protection of the uh, degree, no? For NEMA 3, it is usually uh, um, tawag doon, uh, accidental contact, rain and snow and sleet protected, tapos wind blown dust, no? For injury use naman, yung NEMA 1 natin pinaka-common is accidental contact, tapos uh, falling dirt. Okay. The disconnecting means for our motor controllers no or for our motors the controller so individually disconnect means shall be provided for each controller so dapat each controller must have its own disconnecting means so motor disconnecting means shall be located inside of the motor location so kung sa nasa yung motor dapat uh, it could be easily ano located also no through uh, vision no? sight no ikita agad yung kanyang disconnecting means Operation. So the disconnecting means shall be open all or shall open all ungrounded supply conductors and shall be designed so that no pole can be operated independently. So kunyari, three phase yung ating disconnecting means. So dapat yung three phase na yun, those are all ungrounded conductors. Na kapag enough natin or we we cut the power from uh, to the motor using that disconnecting means, so walang kahit isa doon sa pole na yun ang hindi mag-off. So dapat, they will mag-off sila ng sabay. So yan yung ibig sabihin na uh, should not be operated independently. Tapos, readily accessible, so madali siyang ma-access no, in case of emergency. So the, the different types of disconnecting means, so pwede ting motor circuit switch, pwede rin yung molded case circuit breaker, pwede yung molded case switch, Intestinous strip circuit breaker, self-protective combination controller, OID manual motor controller. So, tapat may nakalagay suitable as motor disconnect. OID yung system isolation equipment. So, kapag yung ating motor is 100 HP horsepower or less, so OID na yung breaker, no? which also serve as the short circuit protection na pwedeng gamitin as disconnect switch. For auto transformer type controlled motor, for motors to HP, to 100 HP, pwede yung anong, auto transformer yung magiging disconnecting means niya. So the ampere rating and the interrupting capacity of our disconnecting means shall not be less than 115% of the followed current rating of the motor. 600 uh, volts nominal. Switching or circuit breaker as both controller and disconnecting means so if we are using earth brick switch shall be 
operable directly by hand on the lever or handle. If inverse timing ginamit natin, shall be operated by hand, man manually or power operable. If we are going to use oil switch, so the rating shall not exceed 600 volts or 100 amperes. Okay, so ito yung mga followed current for two-phase alternating current motors. So, in, in case uh, hindi makita yung nameplate rating, so ito yung pwedeng natin na table. So, itong table to is galing to sa ano, PEC, no? So, that is for two-phase. This is for single-phase. Now, for example, yung aircon nyo is one horsepower, tapos hindi nyo malocate yung nameplate. So, one horsepower, 230 volts. So, the followed current of that one is 8.0 amperes. Okay. So, for, ito naman is the lock rotor currents. No? So, maximum lock rotor currents for single phase na mga motors. Ito is for three phase, no? Current motors. So, dalawa yan, no? We have the in, uh, inductor, induction type, no? one rotor. Or the, ito naman yung mga synchronous motors. Yan. Ito is the conversion factor for the design ABC. No? So ito yung kanyang conversion factor. Kasi nakadepende yung design doon sa ano, lock rotor current. Okay. For air conditioning and refrigerating equipment, so if we are having a hermetic refrigerant motor compressor, so it consists of a motor compressor and a motor, both of which are enclosed in the same housing with no external shop or shop seals the motor operating in the refrigerant. So, a combination of a compressor and a motor. No? That is to, uh, parang ano siya, parang, ano, aircon, no? but the aircon itself is, pero yung kanyang compressor is made up of a motor, tapos may siya separate na compressor. Tapos, leakage, current detection, and interruption, or LCDI protection. So, this, ano, this device uh, protects against liquid currents no between the conductor and the tagdon and the cord itself no okay so broad circuit conductors for single motor compressor 125% no so all motor loads shall be rated as 125% if that is a y delta uh, y start delta run na uh, motor compressor so unlike doon sa ano sa motor na Y delta na 50 per, uh, 58%. So, this one is 78% of the full load current. Okay. For generators naman, so each generator shall be provided with a nameplate with the following. So, the manufacturer's name, rated frequency, power factor, the nominal volts and amperes, the RPM, the insulation system class, the kilowatt, if that is a DC motor, a DC generator or KVA rating if AC generator or an alternator. Time rating, rated ambient temperature, temperature rise, number of phase if AC, tapos yung sub-transient and transient impedances. Okay. So, over current protection required for our generator. So, constant voltage nito shall be protected from overloads by inherent design. So, kasama na sa design yung kanyang protection from overload or with this circuit breaker or through fuses. For two generator shall be permitted to have an overcurrent device in one conductor only. So 65 volts or less na mga motor shall be protected to not to deliver more than 150% of the full load current. Tapos yung balancer sets towards DC generator use in conjunction with balancer sets. So, three-wire DC generator with their compound or shunt worn over current protection shall be installed on one of each armature lead. Okay, the ampacity of conductors for our generator shall not be less than 115% of the name plate. So, for generator, 115%. For motor, 125%. Okay. Then we have for transformers, no? So, including the secondary ties. So, ito yung kanyang mga setting and rating of its uh, overcurrent protection. So, kapag sa primary, so currents of 9 amperes or more, 125%. Less than 9 amperes, 167%. Less than 2%, 300%. That is for primary protection only. If pareho na yung ano, primary at secondary protection, so these are now the uh, the ano, the 
um, factor na kailangan natin i-multiply. No? For secondary protection, so 125%, 9 amperes or more, 167% less than 9 amperes. Then we have auto transformer. Okay. So 600 volts or nominal. So ang kanyang protection shall not be less than 125% of the rated for road current. So that is for auto transformer. If yung secondary ties, so the circuit operating at 600 volts nominal or less between phases. In the marking on the transformer, so ano yung makikita sa marking? The manufacturer's name, rated frequency, secondary and primary voltage, rated KVA. So the impedance, no? if our transformer is more than 25 KVA na. No? Required clearances for transformer with ventilating opening, the amount and kind of insulation liquid, and yung temperature class of the insulation system. So, the specific provisions applicable to different types of transformer. So, yung ano yung mga standard for the different types of transformer. For dry type, transformer installed indoors. So, not over 112.5 kVA. So, it must be separated 300 mm from combustible material unless it is separated by a fire-resistant heat insulated barrier. So, yung kapag lumagpas na ng 112 and 1 half kVA, shall be installed in transformer room with fire-resistant construction. If over 35,000 volts yung, rate, yung uh, voltage rating ng ating transformer, it shall be installed in a volt room. So, if a dry type transformer installed outdoors, so transformer shall have a weatherproof enclosure not located within 300 mm of the combustible materials unless yung kanyang class is 1.5 insulation or higher. So less flammable liquid insulated transformer insulated and has a fire point of not less than 300 degrees Celsius. For indoor installation, so this is uh, permitted as long as the conditions are met. No? Okay. So, these are the conditions. The so first, type 1 and type 2 buildings. So, the transformer is rated 35 kb or less. No combustible materials are stored. A liquid confinement area is provided. Tapos, meron siyang automatic fire extinguishing system and liquid confinement area. Then, outdoor installation for this type of less flammable liquid insulated transformer. So, less flammable and liquid filled transformer installed adjacent to or on the rope shall be shall not be permitted. No? So, non-flammable liquid insulated transformer shall be installed in a vault and furnish with a liquid confinement area and a pressure relief vent. It shall be also furnished with a tank with a means no? uh, absorbing gases generated by arcing inside the tank. Kapag ASCAR insulated yung transformer natin, so it should be furnished with a pressure relief vent or valve. Kapag oil insulated, installed indoor shall be installed also in a vault. Kapag outdoor naman, no, shall be safeguarded from combustible material or combustible building and parts of a building, fire escapes and door window openings. So transformer bolts, these are the standard for the transformer bolts. The location, so shall be or can be ventilated to outside air without using flues or ducts. Yung walls, roofs, and floors shall be have, no, shall have an adequate mechanical strength with a fire resistance of 3 hours. So, ibig sabihin, uh, saka pa siya masusunog after 3 hours of exposure to the fire. The floors of the bolt made in concrete shall not be less than 100 mm in thickness. And same na meron siyang fire resistance of 3 hours. So, the doorways, yung mga daanan. So, the type of door shall be, uh, shall have also a rating of 3 hours. Tapos, yung kanyang thickness is not less than 100 mm. Yung locks niya, so rooms shall be kept locked and only licensed if the practitioner is allowed. The ventilating openings, so locations, so as far as possible from doors, windows, and fire escapes, and combustible. Now, the size, if ventilated by natural circulation, the combined area of our ventilation openings 
shall be 1,900 mm per kVA and not less than 0.1 uh, square meter for any capacity under 50 kVA. The covering, so cover with durable grating screens or lovers. Yung dampers natin with automatic closing fire dampers with a fire rating of not less than 1 and 1 half hours. Yung ducts shall be constructed of fire resistant material. Drainage, no? So drainage shall be provided for 100 kVA transformer capacity that will carry off any accumulation of oil or water in the vault. So the water pipes and accessories, so no pipe or duct system shall enter or pass through the vault. Piping for vault fire protection or for transformer calling is allowed. So walang mga piping for plumbing, no? Plumbing or piping for any other, ano, except those that is for fire protection and for except no yung sa electrical na ano piping and for the transformer calling pero yung para sa mga shower para sa septic tank so it is not allowed to pass through the ano transformer vault storage in the uh, transformer vault the material should not be installed in the transformer vault so no uh, other materials no walang mga uh, yung transformer vault is not to be used as a storage area now we have to go to the capacitors. So capacitors containing more than 11 liters or 30 gallons of flammable liquid shall be enclosed in vaults or outdoor fence enclosure. Okay. So the uh, the usual is specification for 600 volts nominal and under na mga capacitor. So the time of discharge. Residual voltage shall be reduced to 50 volts within less than 1 minute. No, so, dapat, kunyari, 250 volts. So, within 1 minute, uh, the capacitor will discharge to a voltage of 250 volts kapag na-disconnect na siya sa supply. The conductors, no? so, the ampacity shall be 135%. The disconnecting means, so, ganun pa rin yung kanyang um, uh, rating must be 135% of the rated current for our capacitor. So the marking, the manufacturer's name, the rated frequency, the rated kilowatt or amperes. Then for over no, 600 volts nominal kapag yung ating capacitor is more than 100 and a, and a 600 volts. So switching, so the group operated switches shall be used for capacitor switching and be of the following so ang kanyang rating is 35% then it can interrupt or the, inter the interrupting rating is the maximum continuous load for each of the load so it could withstand the inrush current and could carry the you know, fault current no, on the capacitor side additional requirement for series capacitor they, they must be mechanically they must be mechanically sequenced isolating and bypass switches my interlocking tapos the switching procedure must be prominently displayed at the switching locations. So the identification for each capacitor for each capacitor shall have a nameplate with the following. Ganun pa rin, dapat meron ng manufacturer's name, the rated frequency, the kilowatt or amperes, the number of phases, then the volume of liquid on the rated voltage. The discharge, so dapat uh, yung ano yung kanyang voltage shall be lowered uh, shall be lowered to 50 volts within 5 minutes after na disconnect yung ating capacitor from the supply then we have resistors and reactors so space separation so yung ating resistor the power resistor in ano in ginagamit are usually for ano for controllers or to maintain the impedance of the system no so there might be a thermal buyer within 300 mm of any combustible material. Kapag over 600 volts, so shall have a clearance of 305 mm or 12 inches. The conductor insulation shall not be less than 90 degrees Celsius. The storage battery, so lead acid type, so 2 volts per cell, ang kanyang standard, tapos yung alkali type 1.2 volts per cell. So, cell seal or battery. So, this is a combination, no? combination of or a, the, a connection of two or more cell, no? Na meron siyang water or electrolyte. So, 
So storage battery is a type of battery that is rechargeable. So it could be lead acid, nickel, cadmium, or other rechargeable electrochemical types. So this is the minimum clearance for live parts, no, of our uh, of any of our uh, conductors, so exposed conductors for uh, through mula sa motors hanggang dito sa ating mga resistors, no. So katulad din to dun sa no PEC part 2, no. Except this is applicable to um, premises wiring. Okay, so we will continue PEC ano part 1 chapter 5 no siguro we'll have some break muna no or ano babalik tayo ng no tawag doon um 8:40 no 8:40 we'll have a 15 minute break tapos maybe after that one meron tayong uh, maybe if before tayo bumalik meron tayong mga series of multiple choice questions Tapos sa kanatin i-discuss itong chapter 5. Okay? So, we will be back at 8.40. Some series of questions, no? Uh, multiple choice questions, no? Okay, so at, based on sa ating uh, uh, na-discuss, no? Okay, so first we have this first question. So just write your answer on our no, Google Meet chat box, okay? So according to the standards, what is the primary purpose of a thermal protector that is integral with a motor? Alin dyan yung kanyang purpose? Okay. So, oh, mayroon na pong nag-answer ng A. So, almost all of you answered A. Let's have the correct answer. Correct answer po is letter C. No? To protect the motor against ano, damage due to failure to start. So usually po, nagkakaroon po tayo ng pagdoon ng heat, no? Or heating. If ano, yung ating, ano, yung ating motor fails to start. Okay? Next. What is the minimum allowable size for fixture luminar according to the provided standard? So, according to the standard. Ano yung minimum size ng ating wire luminars? Okay, the correct answer is 0 0.75 square mm or 1.2 in diameter. So how should thermoplastic insulated fixtures, uh, luminar wire, be marked according to the standards? Alin dito yung no, standard na pagmamarking ng ating Luminar fixture wires. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
A. So the correct answer is letter B. No, should be marked with a printed tag attached to the coil and reel. A. What is the required thickness for ferrous metal face plates according to the standards? Ito yung para sa ating mga receptacle. Face plates. Ano ang thickness? No? If kanyang ano, kanyang ginamit na, na material is a ferrous metal. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no 0.75 mm. Okay, next. Under what condition can fixed plates be made of insulating material be permitted to be less than 0.25 mm according to the standards? The correct answer is. The correct answer is letter B. No, they are form or reinforced to provide adequate mechanical strength. Okay. Next. So according to the standard, what is the minimum size requirement for pendant conductors used with intermediate or candelabra base lamp holders? Dito yung tamang sagot. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? 0 0.75 mm in diameter. Okay, next. What is the primary function of a hermetic refrigerant motor compressor? Okay, so the correct answer po is letter. And to house both a compressor and motor in the same enclosure without external shaft or seals. Okay, next, according to the standard, what is the required time for residual voltage in a reduced to 50 volts, nominal or less after disconnecting it from the power source? Okay, so the correct answer po is letter B, no? One minute. Okay, next. What is the minimum opacity requirement for the conductors connected to a capacitor 
as is specified by the standards. So, ano yung capacity minimum para sa capacitors? Okay, so the correct answer po is letter C, no? 135% of the rated current. Okay, next, what type of generator is required to be protected from overload by inherent design, circuit breakers, fuses, and etc.? Okay, the correct answer is letter A, constant voltage generators. Okay, next, how many overcurrent protection devices are required for the three wire generator, whether compound or shunt? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? So, one protection device for each field. Okay, next. Why are pendant lamp holders not installed in dressing rooms according to the standards? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, you know, for safety and to prevent obstructions. Okay, so according to standards, how should switches for lights and receptacles in dressing rooms be indicated when they are energized? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, by a pilot light located outside the dressing room adjacent to the door. Okay, next. What percentage of the followed current is used as thermal protector setting for a motor with a followed current greater than 20 amperes?
Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, uh, letter A, 140%. Okay, so now we'll go to PEC Part 1, Chapter 5. So congratulations no, sa medyo madami-dami yung tamang sagot, no? Okay, so we have special occupancies. So for this chapter of the Philippi Electrical Code, so nakalagay dito yung kung ano yung mga iba't ibang hazardous location and hazardous materials, no? Or or combustible materials. So first, we will have this definition, the associated non-incentive field wiring apparatus. So this type of apparatus are uh, have the effects of um, not ignite, igniting in case there is fire, no, or there is a spark within the location. So combustible gas detection system is a protection system or a technique that use stationary gas detectors. So thus ignition proof equipment is enclosed no in a manner that should not permit the uh, the entrance of dust no sparks sparks or heat uh, which otherwise generate um uh, uh, fire no fire hazard to the equipment itself. Dust tight so dust tight is enclosure constructed so that no dust will enter on the Closure. Explosion proof apparatus are apparatus enclosed in a case that could withstand an explosion of a specified gas vapor that may occur within it. So kapag nag-explode yung sa loob, so hindi lalabas yung mga sparking na nasa loob ng, ano, ng enclosure. Then hermetically sealed equipment, which is sealed against the entrance of an external atmosphere where the seal is made by fusion, for example, soldering, bracing, welding, or fusion of glass and metals. Oil animation is an electrical equipment immersed in a protective liquid no? in such a way that explosive atmosphere that may, above, that may be above the liquid or outside the enclosure cannot be ignited. Purge and pressurize. No? So yung purging, supplying an enclosure with a protective gas. Yung pressurization naman, supplying an enclosure with a protective gas with or without continuous flow at sufficient pressure. Non-incentive circuits, so these are circuit or field winding which any arc or thermal you know, effect produced under intended operating condition of the equipment is not capable of igniting the circuit itself or the mixture of the flammable gas that is surrounding. Non-incentive equipment, same as so non-incentive circuit, under normal condition, any spark no, will not cause the vapor or gas na mag-ignite to on sa location. The reference standards for hazardous location are this following. No? Ito yung basis ng uh, Chapter 5 ng Philippine Electrical Code. The NFPA, the, the National Fire Protection Association, so this is sa America. The American Petroleum Institute or the API and the Instrumentation System and Auto Automation Society. Okay. So these are the classification of maximum surface temperature. So we have the temperature class from T1 to T6. So ang pinakababa is T6, which is 85 degrees Celsius. Pinakataas naman is T1, which is 45 degrees Celsius. We have hazardous location. So uh, this type of location has been classified depending on the properties of the flammable liquid, vapors or gases, or combustible dots, dust or fibers that may be present in the location. So meron tayong three classification of hazardous location. The first one is class 1 locations. So, sa class 1, present ang flammable gases or vapor in the air, no? which is sufficient to produce explosive or ignitable mixture. No? So, class 1, division 1 are locations wherein ignitable concentration of uh, flammable gases or vapors can exist. System of gas due to frequent repair or maintenance operation or because of the leakage and the list of such gases due to breakdown, failure, or faulty operation. Example of this one are the gasoline station or the no, yung mga storage facility ng mga gasoline. Okay. In class 1, division 2, volatile flammable liquids or flammable gases are handled, processed, but in switch in which liquids and gases are confined and can escape only in case of accidental rupture or breakdown or such abnormal operation. Mechanical ventilation prevent ignitable concentration of gases or vapors and failure of a norm or abnormal operation might become hazardous. Then gases or vapors might officially be communic 
communicated unless such communication is prevented by adequate positive pressure ventilation from a source or clean air. So, sa class 1 division 2, the gases itself is part of the process. So, kunyari, uh, sa planta ng pintura. No? Yan. So, that is uh, the, the ignitable gases or vapors is part of the process. No? So, kaya doon siya napapapal sa class 1 division 2. Yung class 1 division 1, so the ano the ignitable gases or vapors are existing no but it's not part of the process or nakastore lang siya doon no for use no in which in case there is a breakdown of the system or failure of operation ng isang equipment it may cause the whole gases or the vapor itself to ignite so class 2 DV, uh, class 2 locations the presence of combustible dust. No? So, combustible dust is in the air under normal conditions. That is class 1, division 1. Where mechanical failure of abnormal operations of machinery or equipment might cause such explosive or ignitable mixtures to be produced. In group E, combustible dust may be present in quantities sufficient to be hazardous. Yung class 2, division 2 naman, presence of combustible uh, dust due to abnormal operation. Tapos, dust accumulations are present in normal operation but are insufficient to be hazardous. But in a frequent malfunction of handling processing equipment, it would be hazardous. So, class 1 division, class 2 division 1 are such location kung saan uh, there are, you know, there are combustible dust, no? Could be part of the process. Kunyari, welding. So, there is our uh, flux, no? Yung class 2 division 2 naman is due to frequent, no? Abnormal condition, no? the accumulation of the combustible dust would now be you know, enough no? to ignite. Yan. Then, class 3 locations, location that has a presence of ignitable fibers or flying. So, usually these locations are for textile. No? Textile locations, yung mga pabrika ng tela, ng abaka, ganun. So, class 3, division 1, ignitable fibers are handled, manufactured, or used. So, kapag part siya ng process yung ating fibers, so that is class 3 division 1. Kapag class 3 division 2, ignitable fibers are stored, handled, and manufactured. So, if it is part, is stored, no, on a certain location, kunyari yung ating mga abaka fibers or the textile itself are stored, no, sa isang storage area, so that is considered as class 3 division 2. We have also the material groups, no, we have the... M, uh, MSG, the Maximum Experimental Safe Gap, and the MIC, or the ma Minimum Igniting Current Ratio. No? So, the, the MSG is the distance, no? Kung saan, kapag lumagpasa ka ng distance, it may uh, cause, no? The, the certain uh, combustible material to ignite. Yung MIC ratio naman is the ratio between the current itself and the distance so that is sufficiently kapag medyo mababa na siya o lumagpasa sa ganong ratio, it will cause also the material to ignite. So, class 1 group classification. So, this is for the types of material uh, may cause uh, that are ignitable or combustible. So, group A will be acetylene. Group B will be flammable gas with an MSG value less than 0.45 mm. An, an, an MIC ratio of less than or equal to 0.4 mm. Group C, so greater than 0.45 mm, kanyang MSG, and less than or equal to 0.75 mm. While ang kanyang MIC ratio is 0.4, and less than or equal to 0.8. No? Group D naman are flammable gases that ang kanyang MSG is more than 0.75 mm, ang kanyang MIC is more than 0.8. So, group 2 classification. So, group E. No? So, these are the types of combustible metals. No? Including aluminum, magne magnesium, and other commercial alloys. Group F naman are atmosphere containing combustible carbonaceous dust. No? Yung mga organic dust that have more than 8% total in trap volatiles. No? Example is coil, carbon black, carbon black, charcoal, and coke. Dust. Group G is the atmosphere containing combustible dust not included in group E or F, including flour, grain, wood, plastics, and other chemicals. So, types of zone, no? 
according to the the protection so class one zone zero one and two locations so the types of protection so encapsulation meron siyang nakalagay na m so encloses the parts which could ignite flame proof ang kanyang ano indication is d enclosure can withstand an external explosion no? so flame proof no internal explosion kaya niya ma withstand Increase safety, so apply to electrical equipment that does not produce arcs in normal services. Intrinsic safety is any spark or thermal effect is incapable of causing ignition. In oil immersion, o ang kanyang ano, electrical equipment is immersed in a protective oil. Kapag powder filling, Q, electrical parts are capable of igniting an explosive at atmosphere are fixed in position and completely surrounded by filling material which are non-ignitable. No? Types of protection, N, no? electrical equipment in normal operation is not capable of igniting a surrounding explosive gas atmosphere and a fault capable of causing ignition is not likely to occur. So, classification of location. So, class 1, zone 0, ignitable concentration of flammable gases or vapors are present continuously for a long period of time. Kapag class 1, zone 1, ignitable concentrations may exist under normal condition. Ignitable concentrations of flammable gases may exist because of repair and maintenance or through equipment breakdown. Then class 1 zone 2, ignitable concentration of flammable gas or vapors are not likely to occur under normal conditions but did they exist no, in short amount of time. Tapos volatile flammable liquids or flammable gas are handled. We have zone equipment marking. So equipment marking shall be marked with the following. So if we have an panel board or a motor na to be used in hazardous location so dapat ito yung kanya mga marking the class the zone the symbol the protection techniques the applicable glass classification group and the temperature classification so ito no class 1 zone 0 EAX IEI 2C T6 so T6 this is 85 degrees celsius so the class classification is uh, is, uh, it is uh, required no? kung ano yung klase na gas ang kanyang pinoprotect. Types of protection designation. So, IE. So, the IE kanina protect tayo sa type of protection. IE. Yung I is intrinsic safety. Yung A Okay. So, yung E is increase safety. Yan. Tapos, ito yung kanyang symbol for equipment built in American standards, so AEX. Ang area na kanyang classification is class 1 zone 0. So, this equipment should only be used in class 1 zone 0. Wherein, ignitable concentration of flammable gas or vapors are present, no? Uh, continuously or for long periods of time. Yan. So, this is the types of protection designation. So, IE is intrinsic safety. Yan. So, zone 2, 0, 21, and 22 locations. So, zone 20, hazardous location. So this is zone 2, no? uh, class 1, zone 2. So, an area where combustible uh, dust or detectable fibers or flyings are present continuously or for long periods of time in quantities in quantities sufficient to be hazardous. So, class 2, zone 1, hazardous locations. Area where combustible dust or ignitable fibers and fillings are likely to exist. Then, zone, uh, class 2, zone 2, area where combustible and ignitable flyings are not likely to occur under normal conditions in quantities to be sufficient or hazardous. Then we have healthcare facilities, no? So healthcare facilities are those, ano, facilities that can provide, ano, sa surgery, uh, uh, surgical, dental, clinical, no? Lahat ng mga services for the health of human being, no? So first we have this definition: alternate power source, one or more generator sets or 
battery system no na dapat nandoon sa isang healthcare facility Am ambulatory healthcare facility a building or part thereof used to provide services or treatment to four or more patients at the same time uh, critical branch so that is a part of the emergency system in which this system are not are likely or required not to be you know, cut off from the power you know, because so yung mga intensive care unit, yung mga emergency room, so these are the critical branch na mga part ng isang healthcare facility. Electrical life support equipment, electrically powered equipment whose continuous operation is necessary to maintain a patient's life. Emergency system is a system of circuit and equipment intended to supply alternate power to a limited number of prescribed function. Healthcare facilities building or portion of buildings in which medical, dental, psychiatric, nursing, obstetrical, or surgical care are provided. Yan. Yan yung healthcare facility. Hospital is a building, no? That is a healthcare facility also in which it operates in 24-hour basis of four or more patients. So, yung hospital is a healthcare facility but not all healthcare facilities are hospitals yan kasi yung hospital it it, it is operating a 24 hour basis for four or more patients habang yung ano naman healthcare facilities is uh, it is not ano um uh, it not operated for 24 hours no yan isolation transformer so a transformer of um so, kind of winding physically separated, which inductively couples its secondary winding to the grounded feeder system that energizes its primary winding. Tapos, patient vicinity, an area in which patients are not normally care for the patient vicinity, the place with surface likely to be connected by the patients or an attendant who can touch the patient. So, typically, in patient room, the enclosed space shall not be less than 180 mm beyond the perimeter of the bed or 2,300 mm above the floor. Then we have the general care area, yung patient bed location, so at least two brand circuit. Patient bed location receptacle, so four, yung ating receptacle dyan. Yung pediatric location, so receptacle located within the rooms, bathrooms, playrooms, uh, active Activity rooms and patient care areas of pediatric ones shall be listed as tamper resistant. So, yung mga outlet lahat should be a tamper resistant so that it could not ano, cause acetal contact by the toddlers o yung mga bata na nandun sa ating, no, uh, sa ating pediatric ward. Critical care areas, no? so patient bed location by circuit, two brand circuits with, brand one, with one, at least one brand circuit for the emergency supply. Patient bed location for critical areas, six, six yung receptacle. Tapos patient vicinity grounding and bonding is optional. So an equipment bonding jumper not smaller than 5.5 square mm or 2.0 square mm in diameter shall be used to connect the grounding terminal of the receptacle. So as long as an equipment needs proper grounding, so dapat meron talagang grounding yung inyong system. So, special purpose receptacle grounding, equipment grounding conductor for special purpose receptacle such as operation of mobile x-rays shall be extended to the reference grounding points of the branches. So, yung x-ray is, the x-ray equipment needs proper grounding. So, if you have a mobile x-ray, so yung mismo outlet doon na pagsasakan niya, so that it must have proper grounding. So, ground fault circuit interrupter for personnel. So, ground fault circuit interrupter for personnel shall be not required for receptacle in those critical areas where the toilet and basins are installed within the patient room. So, GFCI is not required in critical care areas na kung saan malapit siya sa basin or may mga area na it will have accumulation of moisture because the GFCI will trip the circuit. So, mangyayari case na yung patient uh, needs to be washed or ano pa doon. So, magtitrip yung ano, circuit. So, mangyayari makakat off yung power yung room na yun. So, for critical care areas, so GFCI is not needed. No? So, transfer switches. So, transfer switches is used no, for the 
transfer of the power to the emergency system in case of power outage. Okay. In task elimination and selected receptacle for critical branch, no? So the elimination should be, you know, considered in critical areas that utilizes anesthetizing, uh, no? Yung sa anesthesia, no? Gases. Then the isolated power system in special environments. Tapos for the infant nurseries, medication and preparation areas, no? Kung saan doon na ano yung mga ano, gamot. Pharmacy dispensing areas, selected acute nursing areas, psychiatric bed areas. No? So for psychiatric bed areas, there should be no receptacles. Yan. Ward treatment rooms, no? the nurse station unless adequately lighted by corridor luminaires. Additional special special care task emission receptacles were needed and in nurse calls area. Okay. Also for blood, bone, and tissue back. Banks, no, for telephone equipment rooms and closets. So, we have task elimination, selected receptacle, and selected power circuits for the following. We say selected power, so not all of the power should be part of the emergency system. So, we have the general care beds, at least one duplex receptacle per patient bedroom yung nakakonek dun sa ating ano, emergency system. No? Angiographic labs, cardiac, coronary, Hemodialysis, emergency room, human, physiology labs, intensive care units, and post-operative recovery rooms. No? Yan. So, the question if grounding is not needed, no? so all system must have its grounding. Ang hindi lang talaga requirement na when it comes to ground is the GFCI doon sa, ano, sa uh, critical care areas because the GFCI will Deep, no? Kapag may moisture, so it will cost na yung ano, circuit doon is mag-cut off. No? But grounding is necessary in all other, in any no? installation. Kasi especially sa, ano, uh, sa mga um, healthcare equipment, so sa mga medical equipments, usually it is operated at DC voltage with range from 20 volt volts to 120 volts. No? So if that is not properly grounded, no? especially doon sa ating mga outlets. So, uh, uh, leakage current from that one will cause, no? especially doon na mismo sa patient, makukurinti yung ating patient. So, that's why grounding is necessary. No? Meron ng mga part no? sa healthcare facility in which uh, having a ground, grounding protection is not necessary. Yung mga lugar which needs to be uh, wet no? or may moisture, no? na, ka, na the moisture itself is part of the operation of those parts. So, example dyan is yung mga patient beds sa critical care areas or or, or sa mga ICU, ganun, no? Okay. Then we have assembly occ occupancies. So, multiple occupancies are occupancies of any room or space for assembly of 100 per persons or more. Then we have the uh, theatrical areas. So, these are any building or structure or portion thereof containing a project, projection book or stage platform. No? The, tawag natin dito is ano, theater. No? So, the correct term for that one is theatrical areas. So, assembly occupancy shall include but not limited to this following. And ito yung kanyang mga part of the assembly occupancies. Okay. And temporary wiring for this type of ano, uh, assembly occupancies to approve for hard or extra hard usage shall be permitted to be laid on the floors where protected from contact by general problem. So wiring in general, the fixed wiring method shall be metal raceway, flexible metal raceway, non-metallic raceway in case in not less than 50 mm of concrete no, kapag nakalibing siya, type MIMC or AC cable with an insulated AGC. For theaters, urgent areas, or motion picture, television studios, performance areas, and similar locations. Okay. So we have this different, ano, uh, definition. Border light, a permanently installed overstrip lighting. No? That was breakout assembly. Uh, adapter used to connect multiple connector cont containing or two or more circuits to multiple brand circuit. 
Bundled conductors are physically tied. Connector strip is a metal wire containing pendant or flash receptacle. So drop box is a box containing a pendant or flash mounted receptacle attached to a multi-conductor cable by a strain relief or multi-connector. Put light, so ito yung mga lighting natin sa stage. Group, so cables or conductors adjusted to one another but not in continuous contact with each other. In the performance area, that is the stage and the audience seating area associated with the temporary stage structure. We have the portable equipment. No? So feed with portable cords capable intended to be moved from place to place. No? So can okay, I the portable? Portable power is a portable power distribution unit. So a power distribution box with receptacle and overcurrent device. The, itong uh, prosenium is the wall or the arc that separates the stage from the auditorium. Stand lamp or work light, so a portable stand that contains a general purpose luminar. Strip light is a luminar with multiple lamps arranged in a row. Two fair, an adapter cable containing one or more two female plug cord connectors used to connect two loads to one brand circuit. Okay, the wiring method, so same pa rin yung wiring methods natin like doon sa ating mga um, assembly occupancies. No, 50 mm of concrete could be metallic to metallic na risway. Dressing rooms, so pendant lamp holders shall not be installed in dressing rooms, no? Even kahit nga sa ano, closed uh, closed closets, no? Hindi pwedeng lagyan ng pendant lamp holders. So lamp guards, so ganun pa rin yung kanyang ano standard if less than 2.4 meters or 2400 mm dapat meron na siyang lamp guards. Switch, it, switch required. So, all lights and interceptacle adjacent to the mirrors and above. And this room shall be controlled by wall switch installed in the dressing room. Then we have carnival, circuses, fairs, and similar events. So, overhead current, put, overhead current conductors. So, for amusement rides and amusement attractions shall not maintain or shall be maintained at less than 4 1500 mm in any direction from the overhead current conductor which are rated 600 volts nominal less or higher. So, isabihin, if we have our ano, amusement rides, yung mga roller coaster, the ferris wheel, dapat the distance of that one of these um, rides from the nearest uh, power uh, overhead conductor or yung wire, wire na naka, ano, naka, ano, sa taas, naka Naka, uh, install sa taas, the minimum clearance is 4,500 mm. That is to prevent accidental contact. No? Disconnecting means, so 180 mm from the, ano, the ride itself or from the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the freeze wheel or the roller coaster, so dapat nang doon yung disconnecting means. So ito yung minimum. No? Hindi pwede magpas ng 1,000 mm. Portable distribution or termination box. So where installed outdoor, the box shall be of waterproof construction and mounted so that the bottom of the enclosure is not less than 150 mm above the ground. So wala sa ground, yung waterproof na termination box is 150 mm. Motion picture and television studios and similar location. So ito yung alternate current or distribution. So, contains one or more grounding type polarized receptacle. Then, ball switch, an externally operated ball mounted safety switch. Then, you have the equation board or the juice board, portable equipment containing a lighting conductor. That was yung plugging box, a DC device consisting of two or more two pole, two wire, non polarized, non grounding type receptacle. Single pole separable connector. So this is a device installed at the ends of the portable fixable single conductor that is used no, to establish connection between two cables or one cable. Spider, call this one as the splitter, a device that contains bus bars that are insulated from each other for the purpose of splicing or distributing the power to portable cable. So for, for permanent wiring of this type of location, Type MC cable or AC cable containing equipment grounding. Motion picture rooms. So we have the term 
projector. So, projector uh, used no, in this type of room is 30 or 70 mm film that has a minimum width of 35 mm and has and has on its edge two, uh, 212 perforation. The workspace, so the workspace shall not be less than 800 mm wide on each side. The conductor si uh, size supplying the, ano, the projector shall not be less than 5.5 square mm. And for mobile homes, no, so mga trailer, no? So, manufactured home are structure transported in one or more section that is 2.4 meters or more in width or 12 meters or more in length. Mobile home naman is factory assembled structure or structure transported or transportable in one or more section that is built on a permanent chassis. No? Okay, so mobile homes not intended as dwelling unit. So, yung ating mobile home shall not be required to meet the provision for the number of capacity circuits required. The power supply, so feeder, not more than 1, 50, 1 less than 50 ampere yung kanyang main. Attachment plug, so depending on the configuration, no? but all should be 50 amperes. The overall, length, the overall length of the power code shall not be less than 6.4 meters or 6,400 uh, millimeters but not less than 11 meters. So, ito yung iba't ibang klase ng mga receptacle for mobile homes. So, the marking. So, dapat may nakalagay. A cord na for use with mobile homes 40 amperes. The point of entrance dun sa ating, ano, sa ating mobile homes shall be in the exterior wall, floor, or roof. It shall be protected. Um, we continuously we having a maximum size of 30 mm. Ito yung kanyang mga demand factors for mobile homes. So, same ito sa demand factors for dwelling unit. Then, recreational vehicles and recreational vehicle parks. So, a uh, recreational vehicle is a vehicular type unit primarily designed for camping or travel use. Yung park natin is kung saan natin uh, pinapark yung ating mga recreational vehicles. So, means of connecting to the power supply. So, the minimum length of the cord is 7.6 meters no? or shall be a minimum of 900 meters where the point of entrance is at the rear of our vehicle. Ito yung mga iba't ibang attachment plug no? ng ating mga additional uh, vehicles. Okay, so, label at the electrical entrance shall have a permanently affixed to the exterior skin or at near the point of entrance. A label of 75 mm by 45 mm. Thickness is not uh, is greater than 0.5 mm. So yung nakalagay doon sa label. So the location, the assembly shall be located within 4,500 mm of the rear of the vehicle and within 4,600 mm of the outside. We have floating building. No? So, yung mga floating cottages natin. So, a building that floats on water. It is moored or nakakonect siya permanently at a fixed location. The location of service shall be located adjacent to but not in or on the building or any floating structure. The feeder conductors, each floating building shall be supplied by a single set of feeder conductor from its service equipment that is rated um, water or moisture resistant. Okay. Then marina and boat yards. So marina power outlet, an enclosed assembly that could that can include receptacle circuit, breakers, fuse, switches, hot armators, and monitoring means approved for marine use. Distribution system, yard and pier distribution system shall not exceed 600 volts per phase. Then the electrical connection, all electrical connections shall be located at least 300 mm above the deck of the floating pier, or the Electrical connection shall be located at least 300 mm above the deck or fixed pier but not below the electrical datum plane. No? So, yung electrical datum plane, inland area, so 600 mm. The electrical datum for floating piers and landing stages are the following. So, installed to permit rise and fall of the water level. Ang kanyang, from the, from the horizontal plane, 800 mm above. 
water level at the floating pier or landing and a minimum of 300 mm above the level of the deck. This is the demand factor for the uh, marinas and boat yards, yung mga pier. Okay. Now we will go to MCQ natin, no? For chapter 5 of the Political Code, the Special Occupancies. Okay, so first question, we have this one. What is the primary purpose of a single pole separable connector? So this is for the mobile homes, no? At yung mga recreational vehicles. You could write your answer on our chat box. Okay. The correct answer is letter C, no? to establish connection uh, between a cable and a panel-mounted separable connect. Next, what defines the electrical datum uh, plane in area subject to tidal fluctuation? So, yung, yung may alon-alon no? so, with respect to the water level. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, a horizontal plane 600 mm above the highest tide level occurring under normal circumstances. Okay, next. What characterize a class 1 division 1 location? Okay, the correct answer is letter A. No? Ignitable concentration of flammable gas or vapors can exist. Okay, next. According to the code, what characterize triatical areas? Okay, the correct answer is letter B. No, space contain a projection boot or a stage platform. Okay, next, what defines a multiple multiple occupancy according to the code? Okay, the correct answer is letter B, occupancy of any room or space for assembly of 100 persons or more. Okay, next, what is the maximum overall length permitted for a supply cord for mobile homes according to the standards?
Okay, the correct answer is letter C, 11, 11 meters. No? Next. What type of attachment plug pop is required for use of a 50 ampere, 250 volts, and 125-250 volts receptacle in mobile homes as specified by the standards? Okay, the correct answer is letter C, 3 pole 4 wire grounding system. Next, what is the minimum clearance required between amusement parks, rides, and overhead conductors rated 600 volts or higher? Okay, the correct answer is letter C, 4.5 meters. According to the safety standards, where should the fuse disconnect switch or circuit breaker be located for each ride and station at a carnival or, f or fair? Okay, the correct answer is letter C, within the site and within 1,800 1, 1, mm of the operator's station. What is the purpose of a drop box in a lighting system? It's done sa mga ano, theatrical areas. Ano yung purpose ng that drop box? Okay, the correct answer is there be to connect multiple individual band circuit connectors to a single multi multipole connector. How are cables or conductor described when they are placed adjacent to one another but not in continuous contact? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, AR group. 
what characteristics a class 2 division 1 location according to the standards class 2 division 1 Okay, the correct answer is letter D, combustible dust in the air under normal conditions. According to the standard, what is the minimum clearance required? At tapos ba ito, no? 4.5 meters yung tamang sagot. Where should be fuse disconnect which switch or switch uh, or circuit breakers be located for each ride and condition at a carnival? So, tapos na din ito. Uh, 1,800 mm, no? Side of the operator stick. So, so, which of the following best describe a professional projector? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? a projector that uses 35mm or 700mm film with 212 per perforations per meter. What is the minimum length of a cord for a vehicle point of entrance at the side, no? the side of a vehicle? This is for... Recreational vehicles. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, 7,600 mm. Okay. okay, so uh, that will be the end of our discussion for this evening, no? for PEC Chapter 4 and Chapter 5. I hope you learned something on our discussion for this evening. No? And I hope these uh, topics or no? learnings will Oh, uh, useful, no? You're taking your RME board exam, no? Na uh, medyo malapit na, April 26, no? Okay? So, I believe that will be all for this evening. No? Sting, thank you for joining this learning session. And see you again next time, no? Next session natin. Which will be the last session for the Philippine Ethical Code bago tayo pumunta sa technical subjects, okay? So, have a blessed night ahead and thank you. So, you now leave our Google Meet uh, session.